Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in today's video we're going to be doing a uh, £2 coin hunt. We've got £500 in £2 coins that we're going to be going through looking to try and fill the last two slots in our album. But before we get to the album just wanted to say don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. So let's have a look. So, we are only missing Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland and Commonwealth Games Scotland. Other than that, we have got everything else. We've got Mary Rose a few weeks ago, which was really good. So, and I'm wondering if we'll finish the book before the new £2 comes out. So, it is rumoured that the 2020 VE Day coin is going to go in circulation. At the moment, we've not had any confirmation on that. And obviously, with everything that's going on, um, it may not transpire. But fingers crossed it does. But before we get to opening the bag, just wanted to say as well, um, this Saturday, I will be doing another live stream. And it is going to be another coin hunt. So I've got £1,100 of coins. So that's £100 in 10s. 500 pound in two uh, in 50 p's and 500 pound in two pounds and we're going to be going through that the live stream starts at six o'clock so if you are about head over and check that out but with that said let's get this bag cracked open and see what we can find so we've got another bank bag uh, for some reason, the last load of uh, two pounds that I've had from Lucky Bank have uh, all been in sort of bank bags, um, and even some of the 50p's in uh, in this little run as well. I've had a couple of bank bags as well, but the first one out is Technologies. So with the Technologies, I don't actually look at sort of keeping any of them, as they're all quite highly minted. I think. Even with the ones that are not that are sort of quite low, there's a couple that are around the three million mark, and even them, they're sort of so abundant that they haven't. They're not above face value, so they're not worth keeping. So that's the end of the first bag. So what we'll do is we'll speed up now until we find something interesting. And there we go, there is our first commemorative find. It is Brunel's Achievements. So that is the arches at Paddington Station. Very nice. So it's not gonna be a total bust today. And there we go, definitely not gonna be a bust. We have got the Navy Centenary, no flag error, but still an absolutely amazing find. And we quickly follow that up with a rugby. So with the rugby's you can actually find a slight miss strike uh, around the edge. So let's have a look. So, you see there, it says Rugby World Cup 1999. So, sometimes the little one will sort of disappear into the edge of the coin. And you'll just see 999. Um, it's, not worth, it's not worth anything. Um, but if you do sort of hunt for the errors, um, it is a nice one to find. And next up, we've got Lord Kitchener. So that is the First World War Centenary. And with this one as well, there is actually a mule coin. So sometimes on the obverse, 
you won't it won't say two pound so have we got that one nope we've got two pound there so this is the normal one so i would be interested to find out if anyone has managed to find the mule coin yet and there we go we've got a shakespeare's histories so we've been seeing quite a few of these recently obviously i had a uh, sealed bag full of them a couple of months ago and next up we've got another one that's above face value that is a Robert Burns Very nice. Next up, we've got a VE day. Very nice. We've got uh, St. Paul's on that one. I was about to say Paddington Station. <laughs> but very, very nice finds. Next, we've got a Charles Darwin, or the man and the animal. Very nice. I heard someone say, actually, somewhere, uh, it might have been on one of Christopher Collect's live streams, uh, we should actually rename this coin to sort of Bungle and the Animal. <laughs> so, <laughs> that did make me laugh. And we've got another First World War centenary. So are we gonna find the mule coin now? Nope. Still got the two pounds on the obverse. And we've got another Shakespeare for the hunt. This time it is Shakespeare's Tragedies. So we're just missing comedies. And we will have the full Shakespeare set. Very nice. Next up, we've got a wireless transmissions. Very nice. It is a common one, but still a really nice design. And a Charles Dickens. Uh, one that we do, we do tend to find them quite often. army centenary so unlike the navy this one is extremely high minted so it's not one that we keep
Next up, we've got an abolition of the slave trade. If it will focus. There we go. So with this one, there are actually two different designs to look out for. So you've got this one with the textured finish on the back. And that was the one that was intended for circulation. You've also got one with a smooth finish and a little mint mark just below the seven, uh, which was one that was intended for the album sets. So if you do find one with the smooth finish, definitely keep hold of that one. We've got another V day. Very nice. And we have Brunel's portrait, which is the second coin in the Brunel series. Goes with Brunel's achievements. Next up, we've got a Trinity House. So I know with the Trinity Houses, there are a couple of cut errors floating about. But that one looks to be fine. It is a very, very nice coin. So with that, we are on to the last bag. So, been a bit of a, an interesting hunt actually. A mixed amount of finds, but we did get a couple above face value. And we've got another Shakespeare's Histories. But yeah, definitely not a bad hunt. And we finish off with an Act of Union. Very nice. So, Star Pool for today. Do you know what? We're always doing ships. So, I am going to give it to. Shakespeare's very very nice free Shakespeare finds obviously not the comedies that we'd want but still not gonna complain at free Shakespeare's so as I said at the beginning of the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos also don't forget to head over and check out my live stream this Saturday at 6 o'clock where we'll be going through and doing an £1,100 coin hunt. And yeah, with that, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's hunt. And I'll see you on the next one. Alright, bye.